Hey guys, Troy here from Troy's Hobby. Well, the weather's getting better. It's still the 30s in the morning. Still have a lot of snow up in the mountains there, across across the river there. On that's the Indian reservation, but I think it's good enough. It just rained a little bit like 30 minutes ago. But I think it's good enough that I can uh, pull my kayak trailer. So this is my official start of my 2018 kayak fishing. First thing we need to do is pull out the trailer. I got a bunch of junk on it. And at least get the trailer and the kayaks and you know, make sure the battery's charged on the uh, fish finder and all that good stuff. Check the grease tires. Do a once over on the kayak. But first thing I need to do is get rid of this uh, move my other trailer. And then we'll go ahead and uh, open up the uh, my second door there and pull the kayak out. All right, let's check my uh, kayaks. There it is. I put it in here last fall. I actually got four kayaks. Got to get the junk off of it. Clean it up. mainly the one on the left there with the Lawrence. I gotta get that up and running, make sure everything's all right with it. Get my fishing poles, rod holders in order. I need to replace the uh, the back end. In fact, that one I took off the other one. The other one hardly gets used. I forgot what that's called, a skag or something. That's the uh, NRS. I bought this last year when it was on sale. It's a pretty nice vest, really comfortable. Mesh high back, mesh bottom back. Trolling setup, really inexpensive. I love this Daiwa or Daiwu, the uh, C line. I got two of them. These rods, uh, reels. I got two sea lines, SL17, LC5, I believe these are. Aqua Glide. I think they were around 100 bucks. These are adjustable for different size, different width uh, paddles. These are Carlisle's. GoPro mount. There's my scissors. I was looking for my scissors. There's the charger for my, uh, I'll show you my charger on the other side. Just break that off. Pull that off. Get the tackle boxes out of here. Some bait. These are Scotty's rocket launchers, I believe they call them. These bungee cords, I always keep them loose so they don't stretch out. Inexpensive, I think it was like eight bucks, five to eight bucks at Walmart. Hook remover. I got two hook removers for some reason. I think the other one's for the uh, other kayak. This is a Fish Grip Junior. I have some more tube. I mainly use tubes on bass. This is last year's regs. For weighing fish, got to check the battery on this. Wind. This is a weather flow. Tells me what the wind is. Connects to the app. A farmer's 
farmers in this area use this. Hey folks, Troy here. Quick tip, if you can, if your state allows it, these are my regs. Well, I only need, I only need two, two pages out of this whole thing, plus I don't want to get this whole thing wet. And so what I recommend that you do is get a laminator at Walmart, wherever, it's like 20 bucks. Laminate the pages you need, keep it with you in your kayak, your boat, your vessel. If they get wet, wipe them off. You're all good to go, it stays dry. You hear me? This little tennis ball container, that's from uh, Yak Tribe. He gave it out, la I think it was last year or the year before. Uh, use it for a little trash can so I'm on the lake. Make sure you don't litter on the lake, you know. Whatever you take with you, make sure you bring it back. These are for the uh, fishing poles. I got like two of them. This bag has my, uh, my headgear. I've had a cancer before, skin cancer, B cell lymphoma. So th this is cap, cap hat. And so it works with any, this works with any, uh, any hat. In fact, let me go ahead and try it out for you. I got navy blue and fluorescent. I like to be uh, visible when I'm on the lake so boaters can see me. So I'll show you really quick what hey guys, I like. thought I'd show you this product because I just had a, a lump on my face removed a little more than two weeks ago. I've had uh, B cell lymphoma cancer before on my face and neck and so uh, wanted to show you this is called a cap hat looks kind of weird but it works with with most hats even with the ones with small brims it will work but I'm always worried about getting more cancer I just had here a piece of uh, piece of skin removed biopsy but it came back negative for cancer just bought these the other day at sportsman's these are rock runners made by Northland fishing tackle one ounce slip bottom bouncers. These are really nice. And I also have these, but this one comes with the little uh, slip, you know, the uh, snap on, snap off. It goes up and down the, uh, the line. But right now it's mainly rainbow trout. I, I might not be able to get too far out enough uh, for kokanee, that's my favorite kokanee. Landlocked salmon for you folks. Silvers. So I got to get these on the, my, my fishing rod. Two of them, two of my, uh, the ones I use for trolling. That's what these are for. Make sure you folks check the scupper plugs. When you take them out of, out of winterization, gets clogged up with whatever was, you know, might be in there. Mine is mainly just sand from the beach. You don't want something to get stuck in there and then impede and just let, keep letting the water in. Check them all. All right, check out the uh, Lowrance. I busted out the uh, lapel mic because it's kind of windy over here and I don't know if you guys are actually can be able to hear me. This is a Hook 5, love it. Most of my mounts are Ram mounts. This mount right here, this one right here, is brand new. Didn't even get to use it last year. Bought it towards, uh, I think, the uh, ending of last fall. But that's the Hook 5 adjustable. I love my battery system. My battery is about that big. And I can go run, run it all day long, but I'll show you really quick. Uh, this, of course, is adjustable. You guys know about this. I can bring it forward, tilt this up. I just want to make sure it works. I keep it charged during the winter. Let me show you my battery. Let's go ahead and open this up. I had to take the phone, phone off the uh, stand. There it is. It's in the uh, st factory uh, bag. Let me go ahead and take it out so you guys can see what it looks like. It's a Nakwa. It's waterproof. Excuse me, might be out of focus. It's covered basically in rubber, it's waterproof. And that powers that uh, hook, Lowrance Hook 5 all day long. Let's do it. Put it back in there. It's hard to do this with one hand. 
So all I have to do here is uh, take this off, store this out of the way, take the uh, connection from the battery, and then this is the one that goes to the uh, to the fish finder. Just it's all waterproof. There we go. That's it. Let's go ahead and uh, well, Lorraine's right facing us. So before we turn it on, uh, see the uh, water spots? You never want to use Windex, anything with ammonia on it. A little bit of vinegar, uh, just, I mean, a, a few drops in water. <sighs> we'll remove that. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully you can see that. Turning on. There you go. Do not rely on this product. Yes, press enter. There you go. And off to the right here, by the way, is my uh, transducer. I have it on a ram mount. Let me pan over here without making everybody dizzy. There it is. Go ahead and bring it back out. But that is the transducer. When I have it in the water, I just I just flop it down on the off the side, tighten up, tighten up the uh, the knob here, and I'm good to go. You can switch between the modes. Remember pages. There you go. That's triple mode there. This has uh, GPS. The regular old old time uh, fish finder. coordinates and fish finder so I got a lot of options here combinations there's a triple again well everything's working great I'm happy book do not use you know, Windex. Just and then please wait, powering off. There you go. Tilt it back. I usually have it roughly about there. Looking good, looking good. This here is the uh, Yak Attack Sidewinder. I haven't used it in a while, so takes just bear with me here. I loosen the knobs. Goes into the Yak Attack, Yak Attack accessory rail. Then the other one. There you go. Tighten it down. I'll be moving this. I try and keep bring it more forward so I don't bump into it. My anchor. 
I usually just this one I just leave it on the inside here it doesn't seem to get in the way my uh, leg clears it this other part I just wrap it around this part I usually uh, wrap it around the uh, the handle here you don't want to lose your anchor but this is very simple I'll, I'll just do it now let me do it the other way there you go that's connected attached that's my anchor system simple these have the uh, the attachment for the rail system also so you just got to loosen it up this has a quick release there you go this is made by Scotty And so for now, while I'm traveling down the road, I leave them on, but I don't, when I'm out in the water, it's like this. But when I'm, when I'm going to be towing it around, I'll just put them in both like that. Same thing with the other one. So in the, uh, transducer doesn't does not get in the way so same thing there you go that's it we're almost there these are my rocket launchers I got a boomstick somewhere I can't find it it's bothering the crap out of me I usually leave it with the kayak so it's probably I got two sheds I must have put it away in the shed it's the main thing I use for uh, filming but it usually connects to the top of here this makes it so it's adjustable. I can hang it over the uh, side of the kayak, but that's what that's that's for. These two spots are for my uh, rockets. And then one goes on the other side. that's it for now folks I just got to uh, pump up the tires got my logos on there yak tribe yak attack pretty much it for logos I have a GoPro or you know a mount on the back and on the front that's about it I'm going to check the uh, grease in the axle and then pump up the tires and uh, go ahead and put it back in the garage. Well, right as I was packing up, I remember where I store my uh, Yak Attack. I better have lunch. I'm tired. But I found it. Here it is. Yak Attack Boomstick. This is the main, main uh, item I use for my videos. I'll show you how it works. Has a quick release here. Probably can't hear me. I took my lapel mic off, but uh, that's if I want the uh, camera all the way up in the air. That's the boomstick all the way up vertical. If I want to get a panoramic shot up in the air, and it it can move around. Less wind over here, so you guys should be able to hear me. But what I like to do is uh angle it off the side to get those shots, you know, selfies. So right there, I can have the camera off to my back left, 
trying to get some side shots. And another one, I have a quick detach on the uh, front right. Let me see if I can get to it. But I usually have it coming off the side facing me for selfie shots. Let me see if I can get it on video. Quick release. Snaps in there. From that position, I can get a, you know, selfie shots holding the fish or just of me paddling along. So that's it, folks. Finishing up the, uh, getting the uh, trailer ready to go out fishing. Axle grease is fine. Just pumping up the tires. Kayaks are ready to go. Just cold and windy.